Inferences. Lesson one, making inferences. What do you guess that the catcher is saying to the pitcher in the second frame of the cartoon? So you see frame one, he's about to pitch. Frame two, frame three, and frame four. The cartoonist doesn't tell you the words that are being exchanged by the baseball players. But you can guess what they are by noticing the difference in the pitcher's actions in the first and last frames of the cartoon. Humorous material often contains only hints about characters and situations. It's up to you to figure out for yourself what's going on. For example, who is being addressed in these one-liners? I don't care who you are, fat man. Get your reindeer off my roof. I don't care who you are, Blondie. Get your hands out of my porridge. I don't care who you are, Muscles. It, it's against the law to change clothes in a phone booth. Oops. Look at the photo. By piecing together clues in each comment, fat, Reindeer roof, for example, you can figure out who is being spoken to. This process of drawing reasonable conclusions from bits of evidence is called making inferences. Inference making is not limited to humorous situations, however. Look at the photograph. What can you infer about the girl? Where is she? What is she doing there? What does her mood seem to be? What can you infer about the girl from the description in this paragraph? It is almost midnight when a bus arrives at the downtown terminal. A teenage girl gets off it, goes into the almost deserted waiting room, and studies a bulletin board where departure times are listed. Then she sits down alone in a corner of the room. From time to time, she glances at the clock or looks nervously toward the main entrance. A woman walks over to her, sits down, and says something. Ignoring her, the girl moves to another bench, and the woman wanders away. A voice over the loudspeaker announces the departure of a bus. The girl picks up her suitcase and hurries to the departure area with the last uneasy glance behind her. 2. Which of the following inferences can you make about the girl? A. She is waiting to meet a friend who is arriving by bus for a vacation. B. She is changing buses and is uncomfortable alone in the bus terminal so late at night. C. She is running away from home and is afraid someone will come to stop her. You probably make inferences about people in situations every day. A person's appearance, actions, expression, and comments all provide clues for inferences. The more evidence you have, the more likely your conclusions will be accurate. But make sure that you have enough evidence. Although it's safe to infer that the girl in the paragraph above is uneasy, there is not enough information to conclude that she is a run running away.